Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to the Gaming Saloon for day three of our E3 coverage. And probably the shortest one of the bunch. Maybe. Maybe. Depends on how tomorrow goes. Maybe. Change the image. Retard. And now Xsplit's going to be a jerk. And yes, Glock's image is there because he will be back sometime soon, hopefully, maybe, kind of. Sort of. We hope. Yeah. Uh. Otherwise, this is going to be awkward because I'm going to have his image there for, like, most of the show. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I did, have, did find out something interesting about a game we play at times. Which game? DCUO. Ah. Okay, you know how DCUO is on the PlayStation 3, correct? Yes. Well, they're going to put it on the PlayStation 4 as well. Again, free to play. Right. Everything will transfer. You don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. But, apparently, and this is according to their stream that they had today, they will not require PlayStation Plus in order to play. Well, you know, I could see that. They're not going to drop support on PS3, are they? Yeah, but not uh, even on PlayStation 4, no PlayStation Plus. But, to play. but like I said, they're not going to drop the support on the PS3. Yeah. As long as they're supporting the PS3, they can't really make a system-wide change like that. Yeah, but they are making changes. They're going to update the UI with the release of the PlayStation 4 version. They're also getting the new DLC with Trigon and Connor Kent, Superboy, and potentially a new power, and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Huh. They're updating the UI. And now, is this stuff going to affect PC side too? Yep, this is game-wide. Sweet. And uh, the UI they showed off today, which you can check out their archive of the stream, hopefully, and see the version one of the, as they call it, of the UI. The and alpha maybe version. Maybe of what they're going for. <laughs> it looks nicer. But again, it's version one. It didn't even have a mini-map. Like I said, it's the alpha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even classified as beta right now. <laughs> but I thought that was kind of neat and Capcom apparently had a stream where they were talking about Ace Attorney 5 which gave no new insight from what I was watching hmm. it was confirming all the stuff we knew yeah Miles Edgeworth is going to be in the game yeah there's, yeah, there's you no know, it's still going to be a Ace Attorney even though it's a bit darker this time around yada 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 we, we, nothing if you've kept up with Ace Attorney so far it's going to be nothing new from you from the minutes I watched. But otherwise, really uneventful day. Nothing like, oh my god, happened a day. There wasn't any unexpected gameplay of Halo 5 or anything like that? As far as I know, no. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you were saying about there was nothing, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I heard about, you know, Behind the doors demos of Dark Souls 2 and Destiny, and they're what you expect. Well, we kind of saw Destiny last night, too, so. Yeah. Uh, apparently, there was a demo was shown off of gameplay between Mario and Mega Man. It's a live demo. Ooh. It looked like Smash Brothers. Nothing surprising there. Really just showed off Mega Man and showed off. He doesn't really kick and punch, his basic attack is just him shooting. He has all his various powers from the various bosses he's defeated. So, so a ranged player? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't really punch and kick. I guess it really wouldn't be the first. Yeah. But, 
and nothing really new today, which I guess isn't really that surprising since everything's kind of died down a bit today. This is kind of just the, you know, go off and see all the stuff you've heard about today. Yeah, the conferences is the big thing. And that first day of E3 where everything's like brand new and it's like, oh, there's this thing and this thing and that thing and this thing and that thing and this thing and that thing. Like I said, the conferences. Yeah. It's one of those where part of me thinks maybe they should split them conferences up over the whole time frame of E3. Yeah. Kind of give something to look forward to each day. Yeah. Because pretty much how I've noticed it, You've got that first day and the beginning of the next day that's just, whoa, and then the rest of it's like, here, go try it. Yeah, outside of, like, little smaller events and whatnot, it's a pretty calm news for days two and three. So without further ado, we're going to move on to the stuff from today, or what I picked out for today. Yeah. Probably a mix of stuff from today and yesterday. Well, I know for a fact the first three are stuff that we had set up for yesterday if we hadn't it took like three hours on the stream. Yeah, so without further ado, we're going to move on to D4, which apparently is an Xbox One exclusive. Hmm. A little cell shade murder mystery from, but I can't remember it from the press conference. I remember hearing about it through that, but, uh, yeah. Didn't really strike too big of a draw right there, so maybe this trailer will do something different. Yeah. <laughs> that queued up and ready? Queued up ready. Alright, looking at D4 in 3, 2, 1, go! showed up at the press conference. Well then. Yeah, that was nothing. Eh. But, yeah. I did notice something there for a quick second. It was gameplay, which makes me go, uh, at the game. Because it, it looked like, like, hand swipes. So I'm guessing, like, all weapons? You notice that too? Yeah. Otherwise, it still said it mystery, murder mystery, and it might be good. Also picked up a little Twilight Zone-ish off of it. <laughs> I, I, that just made me be, I, something about that trailer made me think, Twilight Zone? That just be the the plane with the electricity going all the way through it. I I don't know what to think about that one honestly. There's not really enough there to get a thought about it. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's got potential, but I don't see it because it's kind of not really shown off right now. Also doesn't have that it's an Xbox One exclusive. Yeah. It, it's kind of in that completely dark, hidden corner that Microsoft is not yet ready to talk about. Yeah. Because <laughs> did you know this too? It's a Microsoft Studios game. Oh, goody. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, he did not show off your first party stuff. Yeah. That's just a big thumbs up to Microsoft right there. Show, also, don't show off anything to a game that you're making for a console that you're not sharing any information about. 
Way to go, Microsoft. (laughs) Especially when you're telling people, oh, you don't have an internet connection? Well, we have a device for you. Device for you. It's called the Xbox 360. I shit you not. Not getting into that. I know. Not getting into that. Yeah, I know. So, moving on from one murder mystery to another, we're looking at Murder Soul Suspect. You know, you know, before we do this, when you said going from one murder mystery to another, you know what word popped out in my head right there? Y'all already started, didn't y'all? Nah, we're just streaming. I I told y'all to give me a minute to go to my grandmother's. And and we're not going to wait 30 minutes while you're gone. Tommy, I missed what you said because my hard drive spun up. Oh. The Glock came in, apparently. When you said about going from one murder mystery to another, you know what word popped in my head right there? What? One. What console was that on? Xbox One. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to keep doing that. My dad decided instead of dropping me off and then going to the store, he was going to take me to the store with him so I could eat. Okay. Okay. I didn't know anyone chewed you out for being 20, well, 10 minutes late. What? I said, I didn't know anyone chewed you out for being 10 minutes late. The only thing you missed was us watching a trailer that showed absolutely jack crap about D4. What is D4? Uh, do you remember that cell shaded thing from the Microsoft press conference? The what? The cell shaded game from Microsoft's press conference. Oh, that thing. Yes, that one. Yeah. It was the same trailer from the press conference. That shows absolutely jack crap for a console that they have told absolutely jack crap about. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyway, moving on to murdered. Yeah, murdered soul suspect. All right, hold on. I like this opening line though. What if John McClane and John McClane died in Die Hard and became a ghost? That title idea is what gave birth to the whole concept of murdered soul suspect. <laughs> Where to God, this reminds me of Ghost Trick. I'm gonna be calling bullshit on that one. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me go to tgs tgs r dot dyn dns dot org slash forum. Because Ghost Trick has the same concept, too, in a way. Dash. Where you play the ghost of someone who has apparently died, and you're trying to figure out... Well, not How did you, I die? I wouldn't say you... I didn't say you died. I was describing the premise of Ghost Trick. Yes, I, I know. If you, you're trying to find out, how did I die? And who you are. Yeah. Your identity is still a mystery. It is a mystery for the for most of the game because I'm following a let's play of it. Huh. Oh, and while we're waiting on Glock to actually get everything ready, um, tight, tight, tight. up update on what we mentioned last night about the whole Microsoft free games thing. Mm. My Xbox is working. Fable Three is fixing to be mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably do that too, just to play co op. <laughs> Dang it, if I could get my Xbox working, I'd be happy because I'd have it too. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering, if you went on the site and you get- downloaded it now, and say so you went in after they done took it down, would you still have it? Probably not, because Microsoft has screwed everything up. But you technically ordered it? Technically, yes. But, and it tells you when you order something through their site that it will be downloaded next time your console is on. Good point. It does not say that whether this offer expires or not. So that I'm makes sure me wonder. 
Solving your own murder and murdered soul suspect. Interesting. Um, I make a very valid point, though, about that whole thing right there. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait so you actually play John McClane? No. Oh, dear oh, God. Okay. I was about to say, oh, read the yeah. whole sentence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, oh, dear God. <laughs> that would be freaking cool, though. You play no, Ronan O'Connor. No, I don't think you can get it on, on the Xbox.com. Because so, it's listed as $20 instead of free. Huh. You are signed wait in, second. right? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait, what, me? Nah, shut up, Glock. I'm talking to Peace <laughs> because he's continuing the conversation I had going. <laughs> you are signed in, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm about a hair's breadth away moving you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or you know what would be a lot more easier? Me move me in peace. Yeah. There. Yeah, I'm signed in because it's giving me a gold exclusive price of nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> Apparently, it's less than the original price. Macaroni and cheese in there. It, it's price. not okay. less than the regular price, though. <laughs> I'm pretty positive on that one. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Maybe I should try to turn my Xbox on. It'll probably not work, but I should try it just to see if it'll work. Oh, I, as soon as we're done, I'm going to go to my Xbox and turn it on. Oh, Jesus. And That's wonderful to hear about. It's like, oh, this is a gold exclusive prize, except not really. I, if I'm Wait, not mistaken, you, it's 20 to bucks to begin to get with. the game for free? Yes. yes. Son of a biscuit eater, I don't have gold. It's their incentive uh, to have gold to begin with. Oh, okay. Hey, how I look at it, if they're willing to give me games for the remainder of my year on live, I'm taking advantage of them. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If you have to log in every 24 hours, does that mean you have to do it on the same thing with the Xbox 360? No. no. Okay, good. I was about to say, if they, if you do, then they just screwed their entire company up. They can't implement something on consoles that are already out that they couldn't go in and update for that. Oh, okay. It's built into the console. It's not some software or something. Oh, okay. Well, they just... They, well, Microsoft screwed themselves with that, so... Yeah. Although, okay. Here's, here's my question. How does it reflect on the Fable series that... When I get Fable 3, I will now own two parts of the trilogy for free. Which one huh. do you not own? The first one. I, the first one was actually what started them all, obviously. Yeah, but the third one was so much better. I just <laughs> I think the first one was good. It, the story was immersive. Especially considering how old that game is. Because that's an Xbox game. I mean, uh, I mean I, granted, I own Fable 2 by a complete glitch in the system. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious when you told me that. I was like, no way. <laughs> what, happened? what happened? You don't remember from like two years ago where Fable... Two went on sale for free to certain yeah. people. I believe yeah. it was about the same time that they started doing the on-demand stuff, but wasn't it? I don't remember. Yeah, I remember that, but what happened? It, it, it went up for free instead of for, I think it was 20 bucks is what it was supposed to go up for. Yeah, I think <laughs> essentially it was, it was, it was, it was supposed to be like how Fable 2 is split into five parts, and you can download the first part for free and then just buy however much by the other parts, depending on how deep you want to get into the game. Well, the first part ended up being the whole game to certain people. 
<laughs> yeah, I remember that because that was back when they first were trying to start the games on demand thing, and that was a huge screw up. <laughs> yeah. So what made me think that they screwed it up again? Because I'm like, really? Again for Fable Three? It's like, oh no, that's a feature now. Okay. Well, are we gonna send Fable Two for free now too? You might as well. Well, well, and you know, that's what I don't get. How are they able to do that? Because Microsoft doesn't technically own the rights to Fable. Because isn't Fable, Fable of Bethesda? The publishers? Well, I'd have to think it would be. Do what? I couldn't hear you glock over power to you again. Sorry. Uh, probably a deal with a developer and publisher. Just be like, you want to put your game for free? And they're like, sure. Not like people are buying it anymore anyway. Now, now, I mean, I think Lionhead kind of has screwed themselves over for the Fable series from there on, but... Well, technically, Fair Monolith's not with them anymore. <laughs> I, I lost interest after the uh, interest after they 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 made Fable the Journey. That game just looks so stupid. My point exactly. My my point exactly. That was Lionhead's big sinker. Yeah, they were like, guess what? We made a new game where you're the person and you actually control flames, so you can't control a sword or anything like that, and you can't actually move yourself. Wait, what? Yeah, that that was one of Kinect's many fails. Yeah. And I say many because there is not any game on Kinect that I would even be wanting to touch. Why? I I liked um I like Kinect uh, Adventures. That was fun. Fun to play with your family. I'd rather have a controller. That's just <laughs> all there is to it part of the what? reason why i'm actually happy that nintendo got their head out of their ass with the wii u <laughs> but but tommy you don't want to dance the night away with connect star wars <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> people can put the pitchforks and torches down <laughs> I'm sorry, I must troll my fellow Star Wars fans for that one. I um, must. Anyway. <laughs> yes, let's, let's we are way it. off topic. Yeah. We went, from, we went from that all the way to connect Star Wars. <laughs> what I had had actual physical meaning towards what we were doing. Where we trailed off was not what was supposed to happen. <laughs> I got the trailer queued up. <laughs> queued up right. and ready. Alright. Watching the murdered Soul Suspect trailer in 3, 2, 1, go. Peggy 18. Peggy 18. I love that. Detectives aren't supposed to... Wait, it's a square man. game? <coughs> I guess. A lot of things I wasn't supposed to do. Well, they have sex in revolution, so it's square game, I too. lived through it all. Beatdowns, the backstabbing, but they just published the disrespect that. most people wouldn't see in ten lifetimes. I never lost a fight. Until now. Ouch. Yeah, I think he lost. You think? <laughs> Wait, isn't he dead? I don't know. Hey man, what are you doing? Hey! Move away from the body now! What the fuck is this? I think he's just now realizing he's dead. Hey, did you hear me? Does that hurt? 
I don't think so. Not anymore. <laughs> what does that feel like? Seriously, that looks like it hurt. I said. Get back here! That actually looks interesting. Yeah. I thought when you get to the other side, you'd finally be given all the answers. But hunting my killer, all I'm finding are more questions. Whoa! Dude! Ah, that does seem interesting. Wow. That, that looks really cool. <laughs> I want... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want to. <laughs> Wow, that looks awesome right there. That that does. I was thinking when we kind of saw the first paragraph there, I was thinking, you know, that sounds like a neat idea. Wow. <laughs> they're they're going to I hope they pull this off because this looks awesome. And it looked like that last little bit there might have actually been gameplay. Yeah. It did. My only question is when it, when you watched it at the end, it said coming E3 2013. Huh? It's not. It's a 2014 release. Okay. That Although it's current gen consoles. Yeah, I'm going to say. Yeah, they're not showing any new gen. Dang. Everything there's current gen. We. I was just reading an article to myself about the possibility of a uh, Disney's couple of acquired properties possibly making it into Kingdom Hearts. And pretty much the answer is, well, I gotta ask Disney, and they'll get back to me on it. Either no or maybe, and we'll find out from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. That's what Tetsuya Nomoya was saying. I just noticed too. PS3, 360, and PC. So PC! The, so the standard array of consoles for any generation. Yep. For this generation, anyhow. Yeah. Which, that whoa, makes whoa, me whoa, wonder... Listen, listen. That makes me wonder, that is it 2014 when it's going to be out? Or is it going to be within the next few months? It only said 2014. Listen to this. Players will have to find a way to possess demons from behind and bur and then burst out of them, causing the demons to explode. Much like how Neo from The Matrix destroyed Agent Smith at the end of the movie. They're, they're getting a lot of, like, movie references here. <laughs> that seems really odd to do. You know what, though? I don't see in there where it says 2014. The it only... says it right there. It says it right there on the side. If you scroll down, it says early 2014 release scheduled for Murdered Soul Suspect. And right there at the, uh, just under the screenshot of the guy holding the gun? Yeah. Release 2014. Developer, publisher, and ah. release. Yep. Makes me wonder, though, because, I mean, they... Usually something like that, they try to cram into the trailer. Yeah. Which, I think 
This is the announced trailer. I don't think that this was announced at E3. I think it was supposed to be, like, more coming at E3. Yeah, because I checked the link for the video. But that is the latest thing, because there's nothing else. Yeah, there's nothing else, so I guess E3 didn't exactly hit it. That or it hasn't been hit yet. Yeah. But any other thoughts before we move on? No. No. Other than the fact that it's freaking cool? Not really. Alrighty then. Moving on. We got a little something from Nintendo Direct. Oh, No, Jesus. come on, Firefox. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to be looking at the Mysterious X game from Nintendo Direct, which apparently Game Trailers is labeling as a Xenoblade sequel. I don't think that's been confirmed in any way, shape, or form. Wait a second, so is this a sequel? <laughs> Nothing's confused. been confirmed. Giant robots in an open world RPG? The makers of Xenoblade know a good thing when they have it. Well, Your yes, content. it's from the... Yeah, yeah, well, yes, it's from the Xenoblade guys. I wouldn't call it a Xenoblade sequel just yet. Not, not until there's an actual title? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All we know is it's the X game, and that's it. <laughs> You'll see why I call it that once we get to the end of the trailer. But you both got queued up and ready? Queued up ready. Yep. Ready. All right, look in that the X game from Nintendo Direct in 3, 2, 1, go. All Access Game Debut. Kind of made this debut to Nintendo Direct, but... <coughs> Monolith Soft. Hello, walking person. And giant robots. Wow. You know, when I was watching this, I was thinking it was something else for a second. Avatar? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, not that boring ass B movie. <laughs> no, excuse me. Boring ass party movie. <laughs> no, I thought for a second because of this shot, it was going to be that uh, that robot combat game from GameCube. Oh yeah. Whoa. And I saw this other stuff, and I'm like, oh, I guess not. Cause that was. A little bit more card. Whoa! This is a lot more realistic. Giant creatures? Whoa! And it reminds me of Monster Hunter in a way. Although I may it be does. watching far too much too. And then Transformers. <laughs> Why well, call it the X game? And then they called it a Xenoblade sequel? There's nothing that confirms that it's a Xenoblade sequel. Yeah. <laughs> you never know, it might be Xenoblade you. <laughs> uh, uh, Jesus. You, you, you gotta, like... Kick them at every turn, don't you, Tommy? <laughs> no, that's a common Nintendo naming scheme. Look at the Nintendo 64. Most of the games were fill in the blank 64. <laughs> Super <laughs> Mario 64. <laughs> Donkey Kong 64. Star Fox 64. <laughs> I mean, we could keep going for a while here. <laughs> yeah, we could. Oh, that's geez. a common. Nintendo naming scheme there. <laughs> but, uh, I gamers, like what I saw. I'm kind of interested. Wow, gamers without internet can stick with Xbox 360. Wow, way to be yeah. harsh. Xbox. Yeah. Microsoft. Yeah. Or more, wow. or more commonly referred to as MoneySoft. <laughs> uh. 
But yeah, I'm I'm at least interested in the game. I, I kind of like the whole like walk around these giant worlds with mechs and stuff, and the, the transforming yeah. thing. I think would be cool. Great way to get around faster because it's just like walking, 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 walking. Screw this, transform. Go into tank mode. Yeah, as the next article showed. Yeah, what I said before. And uh, Don Patrick from Microsoft is the one who said that. If if you think, ah, it's person some PR guy. No, that's Don Patrick. Big guy up in Microsoft. Okay. To this, and, and I'm not going to get into it before we do the video. But to this I say, are they going to actually be supporting the 360 while the one is out? Oh, I would... Uh... I don't know, because the way they kind of did E3 made it sound like the Xbox 360 is there. Let's all go to the Xbox One now. Exactly. Yeah, I wouldn't bother with video. I'm sure it's just like Don Patrick saying the quote or saying something along that line. Uh, now you video. tell me. I... Video in parentheses. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Otherwise, I think every video we're doing. Sorry. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> oh, boy. What am I going to do with you? Eh. But, yeah. I thought we were getting into the video, so, yeah, I'm going to get into it then. <coughs> what? Are, we gonna watch Are they the really going to have support for the 360 through... The Xbox One? I mean, We're not watching the video. I mean, if they're not even going to support the 360, why tell them if you ain't got internet, we'll go with the 360 then? And plus calling it an offline device. You can still connect the internet with it. Unless they're just cutting all your internet access to the 360. This is Microsoft. See, the same I, people that have been talking about closing... Uh, this, is, this is... Sorry, go ahead. This is Microsoft. This is the same people that are wanting to close the Halo 3 servers down, even though people are still playing on them. The same people that are closing all of the public Halo 2 PC servers down because people are still playing on them. Um, they're not known for brains. They probably will wind up cutting the 360. This is when I want to go to Don Matrick. This is when I want to go to Don Matrick. Grab him by the shoulders and go, ARE YOU FREAKING RETARDED?! I'm just kind of giving everyone a few seconds to get their hearing back because someone has to scream. You know that I get into the... the that mood a lot okay so yeah don't 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 try to yeah so just to report it on the flip side sony has explained why they're doing the stuff with playstation 4 or well, with playstation plus you know the whole you know having to pay for multiple for online multiplayer yeah simply breaks down as this um we're offering you we're doing so much with online stuff we need to be able to make up for the cost so, you're paying for the online. I, I could say that. Yeah, I could, that, that's easy to see. Like we're doing the cloud stuff, and, all, and the streaming stuff, and the sharing stuff, and all this other stuff. We need money coming in somewhere to help I, to cover for the server costs, essentially. So that, that makes sense. Pay for the multiplayer people, because if you do that, we can cover server costs. We can cover that stuff. I can see it, and I don't, like I said, I don't really see a problem paying Sony even 60 bucks a year. Yeah. When you sit back and think about it, I mean, that's what you're doing for Microsoft. Yeah. Why not? Is it okay if, <laughs> is it okay if I add something into our uh, list of videos that we're watching? down at the bottom yeah right. it's it's 11 minutes long and i know it's ign but i mean what it, is I, it I, I, uh saints row 4 gameplay from e3 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you want to check? Let's it out hold that one for tomorrow. That yeah, way we've so got enough sure time to look sure. and make sure. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's like I know about the America gun. Well, I know there was a little bit of borderline stuff when we kind of did the trailer, so <laughs> yeah. That would be tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, any other thoughts on Microsoft being dumb and making people go, well then, I guess I won't buy your new console. No. Uh, no. 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 Okay, then. We're going to move on to the other console that exists. Wait, which, which one is that? The Oya. Oh yeah. <laughs> the what? Oh, yeah. The one, yeah. Yeah, I remember the police ended up, yeah. Apparently the ESA called in to, called in. ESA called in the police to take down the Oya people as they were showing off their console just across the street from the three event. Oh, that's right. They rented out, which was then covered up, then re-rented my ESA, so they re-rented the place in front of those trucks. And the cops went in, checked their permits, saw that everything was cleared, and they left! Because they got no beef with him. <laughs> Okay, now you've got me curious as to what in the crap this console is. Yeah, we should probably watch this unboxing just to see. We're gonna watch the video? Yeah, the unboxing down at the bottom. Ah, uh, the unboxing? Okay, yeah. hold on. Although I like this quote above that video from uh, uh, one of the people there. Ten more trucks show up, we'll come up with another idea. I have a few up my sleeve. I love that they've already <laughs> planned for the ESA to be like, we're fucking trucks over there. <laughs> Alright, we'll just move down, 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 like two blocks down. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. You know, oh, as long as he's legit, they can't say anything about him pushing they, his own console out there. They can't. <laughs> well, the thing is, he's not going through the ESA to do stuff he's doing that's where the this like clashing has come from but if he's renting the space and it's his own space then yeah. there's not really anything they can do about it <laughs> I, I know it's just that him and the ESA are clashing over this whole thing with the console and they're like rr, 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 rr. you need to go through us to do this stuff you know that almost like, well, makes me want to just buy one. Just to see. <laughs> <laughs> but none of the new games are being supported with. Or the, none of the new games are supporting this this, this system. So what's the point of buying it? <laughs> just to rub it in their face. <laughs> <laughs> rub it in whose face? ESA. Yep. <laughs> Cause what's more fun than pissing off people to get pissed off easily? <laughs> Cause that's apparently all this is. Yeah. <laughs> it is. And anyway, everybody should watch the Ouya unboxing just to see what the hell this thing is. Yep. Yeah. I've never heard of this console. Anyway, Me starting either. up the video in three, two, one, go. I didn't even know there was anything like this out what there, but. I guess it's pronounced Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> open easy. It looks like six eight. Yeah. So in top we got some uh, packing paper, some batteries. As you can see when you open it up, that's what's in there. And uh, yeah, that's it. Comes with some double A batteries. That's the controller. Yeah, nice and secure. And then here is the box for the actual thing. All this is garbage. We'll get to the computer <laughs> in a second. So, so oh, it comes in a box. It's a box in a box. Let's actually 
In a box. My my mom and dad do that to me all the time. I'll get a package, they'll put it in seven more boxes. <laughs> That's a Christmas staple around here. It is. Ooh, shiny. But the controller is something that people seem to universally kind of like. Hey, hey, I want to Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, it is your Uta. So it looks a lot like the Spock controller, obviously. No, it don't. Hey, I saw Ouya! Layout. That really got the name! O U Y A! The controls are straight. It should be a little bit of a curve to it at the end. Just for the, for the grips? Yeah. That's right. But besides that, it feels good. Well, it's only got that in layout, otherwise. Ouya! Yeah, press that U uh, button. Yeah, you win. So it's got the same here. Flip that back around. So it's got, it is very, very similar to the Xbox controller with uh, the two analog sticks, the D-pad, the four face buttons, it's got two shoulder buttons, mm -hmm. so actually every single button is the same as the Xbox controller. Is this all it does it have? Uh, so there's no sort of center home button on it. Wait, it's right there! It's right there! On there the is a center home button, but there's no start and back. Oh. Yeah, there, yeah, there's no start and select. And then this is we'll what find the, out later. So, uh, on the controller, both the left and right side faceplate pop off. Oh. And, uh, that's... Just show the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so they pop off and then they sort of reveal... So they uh, went on like this, and yeah. then you just put them off by doing this. Yeah, they come right off. And then... Um, the batteries. What's a little bit interesting is that one battery goes on each side. Yeah. Like that? Um, yeah, I mean, they either go on one side or the other, I guess. Like this way. <laughs> You know, they usually imprint that <laughs> stuff on the controller itself. Yeah. So once they pop in there, then you gotta leave this thing. I know, I'm sorry. Just this battery's never coming out now. <laughs> sorry, it's just stuck in there for life. <laughs> oh, just get you something. Wow. Well. Hey, tore up, dude. Boy, yeah. Thank you for believing. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. That is, I mean, you know. Another controller. There's another controller right inside there. So two controllers comes with this. Yes. That's one tiny ass console. It is. Wow. I wonder if this is like an online thing where you connect it to the internet and you download games. You know, that thing right there makes the Wii look huge. Yeah. <laughs> it, it looks like like a. Um, it's a box. It's a cube. You know, like a, you know those little boxes you get at Jap like take out Japanese restaurants as you see on cop shows? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it looks like in shape. Yeah. It looks like it would be like a like an actual connectable version of online. That's what it's, <laughs> it's just like a box that you connect and then when you connect it to the internet you have all this big library of games that you can buy for it. <laughs> I was very, very surprised at how small And these could have come out of the first Uyas have uh, one of the stretch goals on the Kickstarter, not stretch goals, but the, you know, high level backer goals was you yeah. could have, you know, your name or the message of your choice sort of etched onto the back of it. What's the, did you read the top one? Um, 85 notch. Yeah. So 402, the, the guy who uh, worked on all of these, Robert Bowen. Yeah, Robert Bowen. And so you can see sort of those really, really high level backers. Hmm. That's nice. That is nice. I think that's what that is, though. I don't think it is like an actual game system where you put the games in. It's where you go on the internet and actually download the games onto it. Because, I mean, look at it. You don't see anywhere where the games could go into it. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> huh. That actually looks kind of... I think like, you're right. It does kind of remind me of uh, how on live is set up. Yeah. yeah. And how uh, Steam's trying to do with the Steam box. Yeah, exactly. Which, quite frankly, if it's set up like that, I would much rather have a Steam box. True. <laughs> At least with them, I know what I can get, and whatever yeah, I get on one, I know I can get on my PC. Yeah, but with the Oya, I'm like, what do you get on Oya? Yeah. Oya. I'm guessing it's like gonna be like. I'm fixing to look it up. Stuff. 
Well, if it, if it's like on live, there are a lot of like there's indie games, but there's also actual games that you can play because I know um, on live has um, they have L A Noir, they have uh, oh wow, it's Android based. Really, the Ouya is Android based. Yeah. Really. And they have. Uh, 137 games out today. That's actually a pretty nice, you know, size. I'm looking through. Final Fantasy 3 is on there. Fez is on there. Not spotting anything. Gotta run Looks like a lot of indie stuff. <laughs> I like what one of the guys said. Xbox One, proving Ouya isn't the worst idea ever. <laughs> that does emulation. I can emulate um, SNES, N64, Commodore 64, NES, Game Boy, Atari 2600, Super NES. A whole lot of Genesis stuff. Hmm. Of course, emul emulators. That actually sounds like a good idea. Looks like as far as actual games for it, it's mostly indie stuff. Yeah. And stuff you would see like on a uh, smartphone. Guessing there's a yeah. Twitch app. It lists media and I'm like, iHeartRadio, Pixel Media Center, TuneIn, Twitch, Evo, and XBMC. Wait a minute. That means there's a... Oh, wow. That means there's a what? Uh, N64 emulator for Android. I did not realize that. Yeah, the, there should be like an SNES emulator too, and a Commodore 64, and an NES, a, Game Boy. A Nintendo oh. DS. Yeah. should be a whole bunch of emulators for Android. This If this thing is supporting all these emulators I'm seeing... That explains the $100 price tag on it, though. Because they do have to give the corresponding companies X amount off of that. Yeah. You're technically supposed to own the console in order to run an emulator. Technically, you're supposed to, you're supposed to own the games in order to play the ROMs. Yes. Yeah. Anyone that has ever touched an emulator knows that you can get away with not doing either of those. Do what? <laughs> you can get away with not doing what? Having the game or the console. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone that's ever touched an emulator knows there's ways around that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a Twitch TV app. Huh. And a hundred ball and a hundred dollars for a console. <laughs> Well, That's a change. Well, you know what? Cheapest console near E3. Yeah. <laughs> Xbox Live free. Get your day while supplies are unlimited. <laughs> you ready to move on? Uh, give me a second. I've got to kind of load the game trailers ones up one at a time because game trailers is bleh on their videos. Because their player is a piece of crap. <laughs> Ain't the first um, place I've ever said that has a crappy uh, player. I seem to recall we've said that how many times now on Rift Tracks? Ah, uh, far too many. Hey, look at the ad. GT app on Xbox Live free. On the Xbox Live Marketplace. Get yours today while supplies are unlimited. Uh, I got fast. I got the World War Z ad, uh, ad again. Well, I, I see that the app up top. Oh, yeah, by the way, you could view Sony's conference on the Xbox Live app. <laughs> what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spear confirmed it before Sony's press conference. Yes, you can view could view the Sony press conference on their app. Oh, on dear. Yes. Oh, oh, my God. Microsoft, 
you were turning into retard. Oh, dear God. That's... Well, it's not their fault. It's the app. No. No, you know what it is. They wound up promoting their competition for the simple fact of what did you tell me yesterday? About <laughs> Skype yeah, being yeah. on the Vita? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they wound up promoting their competition simply because of that. I can guarantee it to you. <laughs> wow, Microsoft. Just wow. Oh, dear God. <laughs> we have this trailer queued up and ready. Yep, yeah. finally. Oh, wait, no. Right. Now we no do. I forgot about the stream. <laughs> I have no clue what this is. All I know, we need a title. And it's Toki, Toki Den, so... Yeah, Toki Den. Watching the Toki Den trailer for PlayStation Vita in 3, 2, 1, go. I can't help but laugh. <clears throat> Even though May contain Microsoft inappropriate for PlayStation children. Vita is uh, May contain content inappropriate. Uh, Tecmo, really? been a while since I've heard from Tecmo. Now, I read an article today that apparently uh, said that Michael Packer apparently thinks the place of Vita is dead. What about the Vita being dead? Michael Packer said it. I wonder why they said the Vita's dead. I don't know. I don't agree with Michael Packer on things. <laughs> wow. Why I take back half of what I said about the game trailer's player. It's not as chugga chugga. Oh. Toki then, working title. I guess it looks alright for it being a Vita title. Some of that art style stuff kind of reminded me of, uh, Muramasa. But, <laughs> they have a game on the Vita. Mm-hmm. Next. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. What, the Lost Planet 3 video? Yes. No. Apparently you got a huge amount of downvotes for some reason. What all the heck? Because people hated what? it. The downvotes on the video? Which you're still trying to load. Wow, zero up and ten down? Yep. Holy crap. What are you talking about zero up and ten down? What? Oh, just wow. Below, just, yeah, just a little bit of ten. Wow, people hated it? Really? <laughs> Apparently. World the War Z app again. The price is mundane. Uh, that movie's probably not going to be any good. As hard as game trailers is pushing it, it ought to at least sell pretty good. <laughs> but, the, uh, whether it's worth it, darn or not, it's another question. <laughs> apparently, um, you know that movie that has Seth Rogen in it that's come out recently? Yeah. Apparently that one's pretty good. Hmm. You know, that might actually be a good idea. What? If they could pull it off. An open world Dead Space game. That would be really hard to pull off, but it would be good. I think it'd be better if it was like an open ship. Yeah. Yeah. Yet key up and ready. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see what all the hate's about with Lost Man at three in three, two, one, go. I think I see more hate with game trailers player than I do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> what? What well, look the heck? So far. Is my sound muted? Yes. This is being filmed off screen. I can tell. You yeah. Can hear the crowd sounds in the background. Probably we haven't seen more of that in the videos we've come across. Now we're cooking. <coughs> Maybe it's because of the video itself, not because of the game. 
I was transferring. Well, they said there was a couple people that said the gun was just horribly weak. <laughs> Hard to tell. He hasn't shot a damn thing. There we go. Ugh. Was it just me or did that monster look kind of bad? It did look kind of bad. What the heck? The sound is just... Really? Listen to the sound of the gun. What does that remind you of? Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars anyone? Actually, no, it sounds more like the best one, right? <laughs> yeah. Actually, it does. Let me hear it one more time. If you'll actually shoot it. Yeah, that sounds like the plasma rifle. Yeah, that, that sounds more like the plasma rifle. Pew 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 Instead of going pew 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 pew, hold the freaking button down and go brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
open security door. Okay. Okay. Hey. Well then. Um, he got in a giant robot? Just wait. Apparently we have problems opening doors. Maybe. You put your hand on the knob, you pick your hand off the knob, you put your hand on the knob. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Well... Garage lockdown in effect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He put it back on. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so, do you not go this way? Okay, you're going to go somewhere else then. All right. Oh, man, I've got to replay so that I can get out of full screen. Stupid setup for GT. Oh, what do they think of Lost Phoenix 3? <laughs> <laughs> um. Long boss fights and don't know how to use a mech. Hmm. <laughs> Also, no heat meter from what I saw, which is what made Lost Planet different. Because you had to make sure you stayed heated, because you're on a planet that's full of fucking ice. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that was the heat meter on his shoulder, though. No, because it was copied over on the other shoulder. Maybe they both are reflective of the same thing. I, I thought I saw something down on the hub that might have been it, but I don't know. I don't think the shoulder pad was. Want to watch Game Plan Part 2? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's more of him fighting a boss for five minutes and it being boring. No. <laughs> no. And us hearing pew 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 pew. He had another gun. Why'd he bust out the other gun just to try something? <laughs> Seriously. Because he's retarded. You know, you've yeah. really got to quit adding videos after I've done pulled up the list. Wait, he added more videos? I only added the one. That you said to add. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> what, the video that I told you to add? No. No. The one that, one. while you were gone. The one we didn't get to last night because someone had to make it private. Yeah, the one that I brought up. I was saying, here, I found it. Yeah, I didn't get like views, so I had to find it myself. Oh, sorry. I thought I gave it to you. Uh, I gave it to chat. I forgot to get it from chat. Same here. Oh, okay. But yeah, to uh, wrap up in day three, we're going to try again on the 1886 video. Yeah. This time we should Order. actually have it. It should, because I have it have it ready so I know it's not private yeah the order 1886 you got a cute up ready yep mm-hmm all right starting up the order 1886 trailer in three two one go PlayStation oh, oh I did find trailer. out something about the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer um that Gameplay, it's actually not gameplay, it's an FMV. Oh. But you know what? I don't care. It's what they're shooting for. Yeah. And also, it's a development, so I don't care. For you were this day in the morn, the best night in the world, but who should say so now? He shall be a liar, for nothing shall be better than you. of scientific marvels. Uh, wait. Yet, they the had glass, guns like that? The old and struggle 1880s? No. <laughs> the wall dividing life it's an old okay. history game. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Wait. Sad. Oh, well, trust me, with the, with the one gun they bust out, I'm like, oh, this is alternate history, alright. We busting out some <laughs> Tesla shit. Such terrible strength do we possess. Easy, boys. 
Is the screen like freezing Did up that for y'all too? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I oh. thought that it was me because it usually is, but then when Glock said that, I was like, huh. Yeah. This looks like it might be where someone tried to record it. Yeah. They might have tried to get it from a stream and it did like I have had happen on game trailers. Yeah. We have made contact. Wait, they have a freaking walkie talkie? Uh, yeah. Alternate history. <laughs> Jesus! They're going into the futuristic crap in the, in the you know, non futuristic world. Werewolf sizes? Werewolf, zombies, something. I'm just saying that because it kind of looks like Ellen Page. Whoa! Now I see what you mean by Tesla. Whoa. Interesting. Yeah, I like what I saw. Yeah. That looked pretty good. And I guess, like, maybe the hints of four-player co-op. I'm always up for me some co-op. Same here. I don't know, something about campaigns, I'd rather do them co-op than I would solo. I don't know. Some of the campaign Dead Space, like campaigns like Dead Space, I I refuse to do them co-op. It's just it it doesn't give the same feel. It's yeah, it's some, not as creepy. And some things are better single player, but for like honestly, for first person shooters, most of the time, I co-op is a, a better option. Yeah. Especially now that they've figured out that you can still make the story function the same for everyone. Yeah. I, yeah. I hate games trying to play co-op like uh, Halo C where it would break and you would have two Chiefs. Or uh, yeah. like Rainbow Six where it actually cuts out all the in-level dialogue because you're in co-op. Yeah. I, I, I like getting that same feel whether you're alone or with someone. And it's even better when they build it in with the co-op, because Rainbow Six Vegas 2 had it built in that it will, you could have co-op. Yep. Uh, Halo Reach. Yeah. And 3, although not quite. Not quite as much with 3. If you had 2 player co-op, yeah, it built right in. There was just not any acknowledgement for the most part of that. And then games like uh, Halo Reach, where no matter who you were in it, you were the one that was on camera, and the other guys weren't on camera, but everybody saw themselves on camera. Yeah, see, I'm even fine with that. I mean, yeah, it breaks in level, because then you technically have two sixes, but for the cutscenes, you don't. The same before, because you have multiple chiefs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I can I can ignore the in-level duplications. I can completely ignore that. It's when it's in cutscenes too that it's like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that will pretty much do it for day three. Definitely the shorter, shortest one so far. Probably be about the same length tomorrow outside of wrap-up from the three of us. And a possible Saints Row the fourth, or Saints Row 4 gameplay video. So Which you do. be excited for that, hopefully. You, you do know technically we could do a wrap-up Friday. I know. <laughs> Why don't we do like a recap, like a whole recap episode? Why? Yeah. Just as <laughs> so everybody like so no, if anybody the missed same as a wrap show, up. Uh, I guess, yeah. Our final thoughts on it would kind of function as a wrap up. 
doing a recap, not a wrap up, a recap. You know what I meant. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> We're doing the same thing no matter what. Anyway, that'll do it tonight, folks. Thank God, shorter one, but not everybody. As always, you can find the Game and Saloon on our site, tgstgsr.dyndns.org. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Our Twitter account is at TG Saloon, and on Facebook you can find us at facebook.com slash thegamingsaloon. Till tomorrow. <laughs>